All right, so we're here, downtown Tampa. We're at DeVito's Italian Specialties. I got Chef Alessandro. The guy is awesome. Come on, let's do this. All right, so it's another episode of Walk and Talk. We're here with Chef Alessandro. It is our world famous rapid fire segment, and you know it's world famous. Chef, thanks for having us. Thank you. So let's start with some questions, right? Um, first of all, how long have you been in the United States? Since 2012. 2012, and you're from? Italy. All right, I love it. Um, we're in Italy. The region is Apulia, is uh, the other side of Naples, and the city is Bari. Okay, and you go back uh, every now and again, or? Ah, sometimes, I was there just before the COVID, uh, 2019. Okay, all right. I, uh, I don't want to say I'm embarrassed. I, I have uh, family that's still there, and I've never been. It's, it's a terrible, you, you hate me for that, don't you? <laughs> all right, so let's get, let's get down to it. Um, the 10-year-old Alessandro. What yeah. did he want to do when he grew up? Uh, I was involved with sport a lot, but uh, cooking was always my passion. Uh, Even as a young, uh, young, yeah, young man? Yeah, because I was watching my mother all the time. That's why I use a very old recipe, okay. even now. I love that. If you, so I'm gonna leave that into the next question. If you only had one food to eat from here on out, what would it be? Pasta. Pasta, which pasta? I like uh, the spaghetti all yeah. the time. Yeah. Okay. I, That's my favorite. I wouldn't say no to that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Um, so everybody has a different answer. Uh, chef's tools. Right. If you only had one that you had to use for forever, what would it be? Well, for me, it's very important the knife. Very good knife. It's very important. It's all I need. All right, so we have the entire food industry, okay? From, from top to bottom, right? Um, your favorite part is what? For me, uh, it's always quality food and good service. And these two things is very important. Uh, if you don't have these two things together, I don't think you can go far. I think you're, uh, I think you're right. And, you know, I've seen uh, some photographs of your food. I mean, I'm, I can't wait to actually get into it, but it looks fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> right, and, and I will say that this establishment is gorgeous. Right? Thank you. Um, okay, here's a, here's a fun question. You know, picture this, right? Ferrari, Pavarotti, uh, the national Italian soccer team. Which one of those three best suits your chef personality i think ferrari ferrari all right <laughs> <laughs> i love it <laughs> i love it you know uh, shiny fast and very expensive I, I can i can dig it um all right last question um the best piece of advice ever given to you is what well never give up for sure but always follow the quality food and uh and try to do the best service. I think this is the, the, the three things you need in the restaurant business. Do you think, um, you think uh, service today is any better or worse than service, I don't know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? Uh, probably it's not uh, about better or worse, it's about it's difficult to find people. True story, especially right now. Uh, are you having uh, trouble finding staff right now? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of trouble. But we we lucky. We have a pretty good team, so we can't complain. Okay. Yeah. Chef, uh, I appreciate you sitting in on Rapid Fire. Um, check out Cafe uh, Don Pablo, Don Pablo, uh, Don Pablo Coffee Growers and Roasters. Awesome coffee. Check them out on Amazon. Chef, thank you very much. You're welcome. 
This segment of Walking Talk is brought to you by Don Pablo, coffee growers and roasters. While the chef is cooking, I'll be enjoying coffee from the best coffee company on the market. Don Pablo, coffee growers and roasters. Find it on Amazon.com. Cheers. This segment of Walking Talk is brought to you by Fresh Fish Fast. Hey guys, welcome to DeVito's. My name is Sarah and I'm going to run you through a few of our classic drinks here at our DeVito's Italian Specialties. We're going to focus on a fall into Italy cocktail. We're also going to look at a classic Italian Negroni as well as one of our house pours of one of our special whiskeys. First, I'm going to start you with our fall into Italy. We're going to be working a cocktail. It's going to be a classic shaken cocktail in our coupe. We're going to be featuring this three quarter ounces of each of our liqueurs. Definitely want to start with some Basil Hayden's. So we've got this Kentucky bourbon that we are gonna be working today. When it comes to our cocktails, we like to do measured pours. So in that you come back to visit us, you are gonna get a nice consistent drink across the board. We're also gonna do three quarter ounces of Aperol. Classic Italian aperitif. From there, an Amaro No Nino. This is gonna be nice and aromatic for us. From there, we're also gonna be working in a little bit of some fresh lemon juice. We squeeze all of our juices every other day. We've got lemon, we've got lime. We make our own simple syrup, as well as brew our own espresso for our espresso martinis, but we're not gonna to get to that today yet. You just have to come in and see us. So from there, we're gonna add a little bit of our chocolate bitters. And we're just gonna put two drops. I like to add a little bit of fresh lemon bitter as well. garnish for us, we're going to do a nice little lemon wheel. There you go. And again, that is going to be our fall into Italy, one of our house cocktails. From there, we're gonna work our way into a classic Negroni. This is a drink that we're gonna stir, not shake. Or we're gonna do it over one of our house rocks with house rocks. All right, so house Negroni. We're gonna be using the botanist gin. We're gonna be featuring a one and a half ounce pour. From there, we're gonna be working in some Campari. We're gonna be using one and a half ounces of the Campari. And then from there, we're gonna be adding in a half ounce of sweet vermouth. We're gonna do a nice stir. Classic drink. This is so nice to drink before dinner and after dinner. It's nice and light. It pairs well with everything. House Negroni for you. Right. Now I'm gonna walk you through a nice house pour of our whiskey. We do a nice solid two ounce pour across the board for all of our whiskeys. Want to feature one of our Whistle Pig collections. We've got a 10 year small batch rye. Love you for you to join us. Enjoy, guys.
Hey, so thanks for joining us and checking out DeVito's today for some of our house cocktails. We have a pour of the 10 year old Whistle Pig Small Bat Dry. We're also featuring a botanist Negroni as well as, you, as well as our Fallen to Italy, which is one of our beautiful drinks with Basil Hayden, Aperol, and some fresh lemon and Amaro No Nino. Please come in and join us for some of our house cocktails. Thank you. Call me Don Pablo, and 20 years ago, I discovered my passion for great quality coffee. Today, we're roasting excellent quality coffee that's rich, smooth, very complex. It's a taste that's new in the world. All right, so I found Mr. The Mr. James DeVito of DeVito's here in uh, downtown Tampa. I got, you know, so I've been saying it all day long. This place is gorgeous. Um, you did Thank a, you. a phenomenal job. No, my wife did a phenomenal job. When it comes to decor. So, Miss Elizabeth, she's actually the, I don't want to say the, I'm not designer, the brain, right? Designer. She's Brains or designer? Yes. We make no? All right. You're on film. Remember, this is camera. I know. So, you guys did a fantastic job in this place, okay? Thank you. Um, what was the driver? What was the motivator? Well, I mean, I, it's been a long road. Uh, so, I'm originally from New York and uh, when I lived in New York, I had a Wall Street background, blah, 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 and then I left that and I wanted to get into this business. And uh, so about 14 years ago, I moved to Tampa, and right before that, I went to culinary school. Uh, and then I came to Tampa and opened up a place just down the block, actually, my first restaurant, which is more of a craft beer and wine concept. I caught on that and I did that and opened a bunch of those. And then more recently, I decided that I wanted, you know, it's been a while, change directions, so I sold them all off kept the original one down the block, and then I decided I wanted to do an Italian restaurant. So you know, coming from New York, which I believe you're from New York, right? Yep. We know good Italian. <laughs> At least, I always believed I know the best Italian until I went to Italy. Okay. And when you visit Italy and you go to Capri and you go to all, all the different areas and you learn how different the food really is in Italy compared to what we do here. Yes. You know, I love New York, Philly. I love all our foods, but it's different yes. than true Italian. And so I wanted to open up a real Italian restaurant uh, here in Tampa, or even as far as I'm concerned, this entire side of Florida doesn't have the type of food that we do. I love My it. chef, he's straight from Puglia, he's, he's phenomenal, which I believe you met earlier. Of course. And uh, so I was really lucky, because I, honestly, I wasn't planning on, I didn't know him when I signed the lease. And so we were under construction. We you were, the you bowl were like throwing rolling. darts? Well, I was good. No, because like I said, I've been to culinary school. Okay. I was raised Italian. I know food. I was going to do my own recipes. All right, all right. I want to go. All right. <laughs> and then, but as things went on, I had a good friend of mine, another Italian, and uh, he had the opportunity to meet with him. And he was telling him what I was looking to do. And Shep, uh, he had been all over the world. And uh, there was, a, he, was in the, he was in Hawaii at the Ritz Carlton or Four Seasons. And they wanted. Uh, him and then somehow or another he met, we met through this buddy and we met and he said well, what, what do you mean by authentic Italian I'm like the way it is in Italy I don't want the garlic bombs and the whatever I want it the way it is in Italy right. fish the everything 
And so we, we teamed up and uh, well, keep it short, here we are. So, uh, you know, we built a beautiful restaurant together. Uh, they got a beautiful kitchen and I don't know if you had the opportunity to be in the kitchen. We made it I fun and exciting for all them. up and down the building. Oh, great. And, uh, and we, you know, I think we're doing a great job. I mean, for uh, we're downtown Tampa, so that's had its challenges during COVID, but, sure. but we're doing really well. We're doing a lot better than I would have assumed at this stage, considering what the well, last year has brought us. I can tell you that Chef Alessandro is like, his personality, he's like a diamond, right? I mean, I think. He's just like, he's cool. He seems like he, he definitely knows what he's doing in the kitchen. I, I mean, the, the spread that he put out here was phenomenal. I mean, a true story. I see where you have like made your fire, you got spirit, you want to do this. Obviously, your backbone's sitting right here. So, I mean, that, it's a terrific story. It's a great, it's a, it's a wonderful story, really. Well, thank you. But, but you went to culinary school. I did because, look, I grew up in an Italian home. My mother's had me rolling meatballs since I'm like six, right? right. I mean, lasagnas, all that stuff. I've been doing it my whole life. You know, I, I could peel shrimp faster than half the guys on the docks. But, but you know, when it comes about, when you can open a restaurant, you, you got to know what you're doing. Sure enough. So I went to culinary school quick at night. I did it a couple of years back, obviously. And I wanted to do that so that when I hired people, We've been through the same experience. I really know how to cook, but I didn't know how to cook the way they did. And I wanted that. You were, you were family you know, cooking. Of course, yes. Yeah. Which is what gives you great recipes. But when it comes to running a restaurant and your staff, totally you have different. to have been through what they've been through in order to relate with them. 100%. There isn't like a pinch of this and a little shake of that. You kind of no, have no. to go a little bit further so yeah. you stay in business. Yeah. 100%. And they want to know you've been through the trenches. Yeah, absolutely. Right? They've been at school getting yelled at, having to do the same work they had to do. <laughs> so, so we're going to have to come back and do a whole episode just on yeah. YouTube and, yeah. and what you're talking about. Um, and then the drinks, right? I mean, you know. Yeah, well, we actually, you know, Sarah, we, we caught her at the bar. So we, okay. we, uh, we focused on some stuff there as well. Good. Jen, I think you're going to like the episode. Um, and uh, I appreciate you guys uh, having us out. It was really a pleasure. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. This segment of Walking Talk is brought to you by Peninsula food service all right so chef i mean this food looks spectacular thanks i mean it's fresh you know we saw how you prepared it in the back um yes. it's delicious can you explain a little bit about what we have here okay this is the octopus carpaccio uh, the whole secret about this is uh, we cook the octopus for many hours until it's very soft and then uh, we press the octopus in the plastic tube uh, and we put in the freezer because you have to be very cold and then we slice at the machine and uh, we finish in the plate with the cherry tomato, uh, fresh arucola and uh, capers berry and the fresh mint on top and uh, you can see it's very soft I mean uh, the flavor is it's delicate but the profile is beautiful and the profile is beautiful Thank you. That's terrific. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give you this. We'll switch. <laughs> yeah. This is the dried beef uh, brezaola. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also present as a carpaccio. And this with the burrata cheese on top. Okay. Wow. Yes. And uh, we use uh, uh, truffle, truffle oil to put on top this with a uh, uh, fresh arugula in the center. And what's the secret with the uh, bracciola? It's a very um, uh, seasoned uh, dry beef. Uh, so it's very aged. It's very aged dry beef. Okay. And the burrata is delicious too. Yes. Is this uh, one of your major? Yes, it's one of the major uh, I can appetizers. See, I can see why. I can see why. Um, how long has this, this dish has been on the menu from, from the start? Oh, since we opened, yeah. Since we opened uh, in 2020. Yeah. So, first of all, you guys watching me, We're downtown Tampa, DeVito's. The food is fantastic. These are the appetizers. We're moving into uh, into entrees next. 
keep tuned in. Let's see what we got. All right, so what are we? What am I looking at, Jeff? This is the homemade uh, black ink squid uh, spaghetti chitarra oh, wow. because they are a little bit square. Yep. And uh, is uh, with uh, seafood fra diavolo. So we have uh, calamari, shrimps, mussels, and clams with the cherry tomato sauce in white wine. So tell me, for the ink on the spaghetti, how are you making that? Uh, all right, so it's a secret, and that's okay. And uh, I'm not going to press you on that. I don't want any trouble here. Um, so uh, anyway, everything has been very flavorful. It's delicious. It's pretty. I'm digging this. Um, your, your plates are beautiful. You're going to have a good time here. You make sure you come here, DeVito's. Um, so what am I looking at here, Chef? Here we have the beef tenderloin, first choice. Uh, we do uh, with the porcini mushroom sauce. Uh, the porcini is a, a Italian porcini, so it's a lot of uh, flavor in this uh, porcini mushroom. And then we, uh, we have some um, shaved truffle on top. Mm -hmm. And we serve with the roasted vegetable fingerling potato, uh, shallot, zucchini, uh, yellow pepper, uh, red pepper, and uh, eggplant. Listen, the color is beautiful. All right, so I'm into the protein, um, which so far everything is delicious, the plate is colorful. Um, chef, what do you got there for desserts? Okay, for dessert we have the uh, Sicilian cannoli with the chocolate chip cream. Then we have the Chocolate Temptation cake. And here we have the lemon mascarpone cake. So okay. what makes the Sicilian cannoli different than a regular cannoli? That's another secret. I can tell you the secret, remember? Okay. <laughs> if, you're, if you have to keep secrets and you can continue putting out delicious food like this, I'm okay with it. Thank you. Chef, listen. We appreciate you letting us take over your restaurant here for the last few hours. Um, in the end, we uh, we really like this. You put out a terrific spread. The food is delicious. We're gonna jump into that dessert too. You don't get to see that, um, Chef. Thank you. You're welcome.